Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter 8. We're looking at verse 16. Now remember what I just showed you about Samson. And then Samson rendering this lion. And then in this connection, we're seeing this honey and this bees come out of it. Or this new order or this organization of the bees. Or the Anu order of the Anunnaki, of which Dan is connected to via Nod, the Nodites. So Dan in reverse... Just drop the A, circle it around, and we've got the Nodites. But nonetheless, we need to understand something here. The locust are reported as coming back with the snorting of horses. Now, this is going to tie up to the Ouroboros and what we saw with these strong ones and the sweetness coming forth from them. Okay? So we have the snorting of the horses of Dan. Time that up to the locust, chapter 9 being termed as horses. Now, time out Dan being timed up with Samson having long hair. Now, time that symbolism up to the locust as being reported of having long hair also. And then time that up to what the reports are of the Pleiadians as also having long hair. And if you think I'm kidding around here, you have no idea. Think very deeply on what I'm saying. So here's the strong ones, the same strong ones that he pr pr promoted with this riddle that he was talking about here. And then, of course... We see what they're trying to devour. All that's in it and all that's in the city. Well, the city is your mind. I told you it's their doctrine of which they're trying to bring against this world. Think very deeply, my friends. Think very deeply. Now, let's not forget Job. Job Joel here. Excuse me. This is going to be the book of Joel. And man, friends, this is going to be our timing that's going to tell us that this is going to happen right at the dawn hours of this age. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more ever after it, even to the years of many generations. Now look, they're connected here back to Eden. Now we know that this is the fallen sons of God connection, who I connect successfully to Nod, who have now successfully connected now to Dan, who have successfully connected now to the Locust, who have successfully connected now as being a great people, who I'm trying to successfully connect now as being coming at the dawning of this new age. And that's this morning. The symbol for morning is dawn. And now you know what all that esoteric symbolism is as this dawning of the new age. Well, this is what's coming. And you are seeing it translated to everybody else as these coming aliens. But when in reality, my friends, this is of a biblical scope. And you can see that their identity is being revealed, who they are. And if you begin to understand the history and how these things got this way, it'll begin to make a lot of sense. Now, let's check out what we've got going here for the symbolism here. And I want you to see kind of what you're talking about or what we're talking about with these world age cycles. First off, this is the age that we're in right now. Now, when you hear them being binded for 70 generations, the 70 generations is going to cover from this point right here a little into the world age, and it's going to continue all the way to where we are right now. And that is 5,040 years once we do the deduction of the 5,125 year cycle of which this is. Now look, these are the Bakhtuns. Each one of these are 144,000 144, days, which in other words is 394 years. So the 13th Bakhtun is now symbolized as a 13th judge of esoteric Israel, which you would begin to understand what that meant if you now understand their connection to Nod and these fallen sons of God. And then you will begin to understand why it was so hard to pull some of these early Hebrews from their worship of idols and sacrifice and where all this death and all this wrath and all this judgment is coming from, my friends. So think about it, and I'm going to come back and try to offer up the conclusion here.